Medical experts are raising the alarm tonight about a new danger to public health in Ontario. It's yet another threat from a disease carried by ticks, and officials are reporting the first human case of the illness. Al Sweeney joins us live with the latest on this story. Al. Emily, so far we've heard of one human case of this disease called Rocky Mountain Spotted Fever. Officials in Quebec say one person was diagnosed there with the disease. They were treated with antibiotics and they're doing well. But the disease has also turned up here in Ontario in dogs, killing at least one locally. At a local dog park in Burlington, people are already treating their dogs to prevent Lyme disease spread by ticks. Now there's Rocky Mountain spotted fever. Very scary. I've never heard of it before. There's all kinds of new stuff coming up. The spotted fever is fairly common in the United States, but officials say, along with the Quebec case, it's now been found in an area of Ontario's Long Point on Lake Erie, spreading at least partly because of climate change. The Ontario Veterinary College says at least eight dogs have been diagnosed with the illness and one from Long Point died. What we've seen so far has been really localized to Long Point, and Long Point's an area that was one of the first places we started to see ticks in Ontario. It was one of the first places we started to see Lyme disease, so it would make sense. It's one of the first places we'll see something new happening with ticks. Rocky Mountain spotted fever is spread by the dog tick, while Lyme disease is spread by the black leg tick, both common in Ontario. And the same ticks that infect dogs can infect people. The spotted fever is characterized by a spotted rash, giving it the name, and it can be serious, even fatal. This can be a very severe infection. People will feel very unwell. Most people uh, who have this infection who are on the severe degree of the spectrum will, will be hospitalized for this. It can cause organ failure. It can have central nervous system manifestations, heart, lung, liver, kidney manifestations. They say it can be treated effectively with antibiotics, but being a new disease, there could be a delay in diagnosis. It is generally one of the more severe tick-borne diseases that we consider um, in terms of infectious diseases. So it can be very severe and potentially even fatal if it's not recognized promptly or treated promptly. This is the new normal for us when it comes to ticks and tick-borne disease. The experts say the ticks are here and Canadians will have to up their game in terms of tick awareness. It's not a doomsday scenario. If you look in the U.S., they have areas where they have a lot more ticks and a lot more tick-borne disease, and they obviously do well. But they are quite tuned into tick avoidance. So one thing for people to consider is that the coming fall is a time when ticks are active. They like the cooler weather. Now, the Grand Erie Public Board, Public um, Office of Health and the uh, other departments have information online about what to do with ticks, how to remove them safely, and, and what to do if your dog is bitten. We have a link to that on our website at chch.com.